Hello everyone, I'm Marcelo and in this tutorial we will learn how we can write and read Excel file in Wipad. So just before starting the tutorial, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also if you like this video, give a thumbs up so it really helps me and the channel to grow and to reach to more people. So let's get started by learning how we can write Excel files. So we can write Excel file in different ways. We can write only a cell. We can write a data table on the Excel file. So we'll learn how we can write a data table. And we have two different ways, two different activities that we can use to do the same thing. So uh, one, it's using the right range activity from the system activities. And the difference of this activity to this one from the Excel package. So this activity right at the table to Excel does the same thing. The difference is that the one from system can work without Excel installed on a computer. And this one only works and these and all activities from the Excel package only works if Excel is installed. Another difference is that by using the Excel package, we can do more things on Excel file. As we can see, we have a lot of activities compared with the ones from system activities. So we'll use the ones from the Excel package. If you wish to know how to use the ones from workbook, I'll leave here on the top a link to a video where I teach how we can use some of these activities from system activities where we don't need Excel installed. So to use here, so let's search again for Excel and drag here a write data table to Excel. So uh, first we can see here appears error and we need to use so first the scope. Uh, basically we need to use here the activity Excel process scope to then use a certain Excel file and then we can indicate the action to do on Excel. So in this case, write the data table. So first we need to use a scope, then we need to use Excel file and inside of the use Excel file where we indicate the Excel file to use, we indicate the actions to execute. So it's really needed to use uh, this uh, scope and use Excel file to then do some action. So here on Excel file, we can indicate Excel file that already exists or indicate the name of Excel file to be created. So in this case, let's indicate here, for example, data.xlsx. And by this way, because we have here this option enabled, we'll be created Excel file with this name on our project. So now uh, we need to provide here a data table. So let's here create a simple data table. Let's use the will data table activity. And here, for example, first call name. Second column can be age, for example, and let's just input here some rows. So we have already here some rows. Let's now declare here a data table variable. And now that we have created our variable that will receive this data table, let's so indicate it here on the what to write property. So here, Let's pass our data table. And now here on destination, we should indicate the sheet where we want to write this data table. So we'll have only one sheet because we'll be created this Excel file and it has by default only one sheet. So to indicate the only existing sheet here, first we need to call the reference to our Excel file. So here by using Excel, we are calling basically our instance, our Excel instance, and then let's add a dot. And now let's here select the option select the sheet. 
and by this way we'll be so wrote this data table on our excel file on the sheet that exists on it so uh, let's run our project to see if it's created excel file and if it has the data table root so let's run our project and now if we go to the project panel and if we refresh the contents we can see that was created excel file and if we open it we can see that was wrote the data table that we have created here on our excel file so now that we've created the excel file let's see how we can read it so uh, let's here close the file and now here we can comment this activity by using here the option disable activity and now to read it's uh, simple so here if we search for read and here we can see the activity read range that allows us to read the Excel file. So let's drag it inside of the use Excel file. So it's required to be inside of the use Excel file because it's here where we indicate the Excel file where we want to perform the actions. So here on range, let's indicate basically that we want to read the sheet that exists on our Excel file. So here, let's do the same. Let's call our Excel, then add a dot, and then we can see that appears here the name of the sheet, the only sheet that we have on our Excel. So we can select it. And now here on save to, we need to indicate where we want to save uh, basically the information extracted from the sheet. So let's declare here a new variable, dt underscore Excel. So it will be a data table, as we can see. So now uh, to see uh, the output, to see so the content of our data table, let's use the output data table activity to basically have our data table in text format. So by this way, we can see the content in a message box. So here, let's define our data table that we've created here and now here uh, let's create the variable of type string that will receive the content of our uh, data table so now uh, let's just use a message box and let's call the variable string that we have created so now if we execute the project first we'll be read our excel file and we'll have access to the data by our variable dtxl that it's a data table then we will have to put basically the data on our data table to a string variable to visualize the content on the message box so let's execute the project and here we can see on the message box the data extracted from our excel file so if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can track more easily the content that I launch every week on the channel. And now I leave here on the screen a playlist of YPath tutorials. So if you want to learn more about YPath, I suggest click on the playlist and see the tutorials.